On March 21, 2025, China's Shenzhou 19 mission achieved a significant milestone with its third extravehicular activity, EVA, or spacewalk, outside the Tiangong Space Station. Astronauts Kai Xuzha and Song Lingdong spent nearly seven hours completing critical tasks, including installing space debris protection devices and auxiliary equipment. This operation not only enhanced the station's functionality, but also underscored China's growing expertise in human spaceflight. In this video, we'll delve into the technical execution of this spacewalk and explore the astronauts' remarkable achievements. The Shenzhou-19 mission's third spacewalk was a meticulously planned operation to bolster the Tiangong Space Station's safety and operational capabilities. On March 21, 2025, at approximately 2050 Beijing time, astronauts Kai Xuzha and Song Lingdong exited the Wintian lab module to commence their extravehicular activities. Their primary objectives included installing space debris protection devices, setting up auxiliary equipment, and conducting comprehensive inspections of the station's exterior apparatus. Space debris poses a significant threat to the integrity of orbiting structures. Even minute fragments traveling at high velocities can cause substantial damage upon impact. To mitigate this risk, Kai and Song installed advanced shielding to protect the station from micrometeoroids and orbital debris. This proactive measure enhances the station's resilience, ensuring the safety of its occupants and the longevity of its mission. The astronauts also deployed auxiliary devices to support future extravehicular activities and scientific experiments. These installations are pivotal for expanding the station's research capabilities and facilitating more complex operations and subsequent missions. The successful setup of this equipment demonstrates the crew's technical proficiency and the mission's commitment to advancing space science. Throughout the EVA, Kai and Song collaborated closely with ground control teams and utilized the station's robotic arm to maneuver and position equipment accurately. This synergy between human ingenuity and robotic assistance exemplifies the integration of technology in modern space exploration, allowing for the execution of tasks that would be challenging or hazardous for astronauts alone. After nearly seven hours of extravehicular operations, the astronauts safely returned to the Wintian lab module at 8.50 p.m. Beijing time. Their successful completion of all assigned tasks not only underscores the effectiveness of their training, but also marks a significant achievement in China's pursuit of sustained human presence in space. The Shenzhou-19 mission's third spacewalk highlighted the exceptional capabilities and dedication of its crew, particularly Mission Commander Senior Colonel Kai Xuzha. At 48 years old, Kai has now participated in five extravehicular activities, making him the first Chinese astronaut to achieve this milestone. His extensive experience is invaluable for the success of complex space operations and serves as an inspiration for future generations of astronauts. Kai's journey in space exploration began with the Shenzhou-14 mission in 2022, during which he conducted two spacewalks. His return to space with Shenzhou-19 has further solidified his role as a pivotal figure in China's manned space program. The December 17, 2024, EVA during this mission was particularly noteworthy, as Kai and Song Lingdong set a new world record for the longest spacewalk, lasting over nine hours and surpassing the previous record held since 2001. Lieutenant Colonel Song Lingdong, at 34 years old, represents the new generation of Chinese astronauts. His participation in these record-breaking activities underscores the effectiveness of China's rigorous astronaut training programs and the nation's commitment to nurturing talent for its ambitious space endeavors. Song's contributions during the EVAs have been instrumental in achieving the mission's objectives and demonstrating his readiness for future leadership roles in space missions. The third crew member, Lieutenant Colonel Wang Hauza, provided crucial support from within the station during the EVAs. His role ensured seamless communication between the astronauts conducting extravehicular tasks and ground control teams, highlighting the importance of teamwork and coordination in complex space operations. The Shenzhou-19 crew's ability to perform multiple and extended EVAs during their mission reflects China's growing expertise in conducting sophisticated space operations. These accomplishments not only contribute to the immediate goals of the Tiangong Space Station but also lay the groundwork for future missions, including potential lunar explorations and the establishment of a sustainable human presence in space.
bringing humanity closer to realizing long-term goals such as lunar bases, Mars missions, and autonomous deep space laboratories. These extravehicular milestones are not isolated events. They're cumulative building blocks that reflect a maturing space-faring nation preparing for the next frontier. What makes China's progress so notable is its pace and precision. Just over a decade ago, China conducted its first spacewalk during the Shinjo 7 mission in 2008. Now, with Shinjo 19, it is routinely executing advanced EVA operations, coordinating robotic and human systems, and setting new world records. This demonstrates not only technical evolution but also growing confidence and strategic foresight in every step. The spacewalk's implications also extend to China's domestic space economy. With every successful mission, more resources and funding are directed toward technological innovation, university research partnerships, and private sector involvement. As a result, China's space ecosystem is becoming more robust and self-sustaining, capable of supporting long-term exploration goals without relying on external infrastructure. Moreover, Tiangong's ongoing upgrades and the astronaut's ability to enhance its capabilities suggest a shift toward modular, scalable space architecture. This philosophy, building in flexibility for future expansion, is key for any sustainable off-world presence. China's approach to Tiangong mirrors the kind of planning needed for lunar habitats or Martian outposts. Build now, adapt, and expand later. Beyond engineering, the mission's strategic value lies in shaping global perceptions. Each EVA, each successful launch, builds China's credibility not just as a space-faring nation, but as a long-term architect of space-based infrastructure. It sends a signal to the world. China is here to stay in orbit, and it's playing the long game. There's also a quiet cultural ripple effect unfolding. These missions inspire a new generation of scientists, engineers, and thinkers within China and beyond. The spectacle of human endurance in space, the innovation behind every maneuver, and the pride in national achievement feed into a growing public interest in science and space. As the Shinjo-19 crew nears the end of their six-month mission, expected to return to Earth in late April or early May 2025, they leave behind more than just hardware improvements. They leave a precedent, a statement. What happened on March 21st wasn't just a spacewalk, it was a statement to the world. Through precision, endurance, and innovation, the Shinjo-19 crew proved that China is not just participating in space exploration, it's leading it in its way. This third spacewalk didn't just protect Tiangong, it expanded its potential. It didn't just test astronaut stamina, it showcased human resilience in a hostile environment. And it didn't just check off tasks, it paved the way for deeper missions, lunar dreams, and global cooperation. As Kai Shuja and his team prepare to come home, they carry with them more than data and experience. They carry the future blueprint of how humans will explore, adapt, and thrive in space. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.